over the last couple of days, we seem to have hit a rich tuna fishing ground out here in the areas of international waters in the Pacific. We have discovered both pirate and legal fishing boats from Philippines and Taiwan. On Friday morning, our activists interrupted a possible illegal transfer of fish out at sea here in the international waters of the Pacific. We came past a illegal per se vessel flagged to the Philippines that was at the site of a mothership uh, just at the verge of transfer. Upon Greenpeace uh, interrupting this, the vessels fled from each other and later on in the day, Greenpeace was able to board the mothership at the permission of the captain. We documented over 675 tons of tuna on board the mothership. And the captain had claimed that he had transferred six times, six times in the last month out here alone in the international waters. Transfer of fish at sea is, is known globally to be one of the key ways and methods that facilitates pirate fishing activities. With the vast ocean here in the Pacific, it's quite impossible to know exactly how many fishing boats are here or what their activities are. Allowing transfer of fish at sea is one of the key ways of facilitating fish being laundered out of the Pacific without us knowing about it, basically. And we have been campaigning in this region for the last couple of years, basically asking our governments in the Pacific to put a ban in place on allowing this sort of unknown activities out in the ocean and only be allowed to undertake transfer of fish in port so we can know exactly how much fish has been taken out of the Pacific. We also came across a litany of Taiwanese longliners. Six Taiwanese longliners right close to us. The Ho Sai Fa 18, which is uh, one of the controversial uh, Taiwanese longliners we met two weeks ago, uh, we met out here again. We interrupted and stopped the fishing vessel from uh, fishing for three days and we hung around them. Two other vessels we managed to get on board with the permission of the captain where we had documented tuna, sharks and other marine life on board. One of the other Taiwanese longliners had agreed with us to leave the areas of international waters so Greenpeace peacefully escorted her out. We are gravely disappointed at the fact that we've seen six Taiwanese longliners in a small vicinity and it just proves to us that the Taiwanese government is really not serious about um, maintaining the uh, sustainable resources for the Pacific. We have highlighted to the world the intensity of fishing activities out here in the Pacific. We're only in a small part of the Pacific and we've seen three huge Philippine vessels and six Taiwanese longliners in a small vicinity and the level of overfishing that's occurring in the region we cannot sustain the amount of fishing that happens here day in day out. Fishing vessels need to be reduced in numbers. The amount of catches uh, of tuna out here in the region is clearly not sustainable and Greenpeace is asking that these areas of international water be closed off to all fishing and we're asking countries like the Philippines and Taiwan to support the move by Greenpeace on this front.